Hi guys, welcome back to Junris Blaga Degree Action. For today's video reaction, let's go to our favorite country, which is Russia. Private and spasiba to our Russian friends. How are you all guys? If you're doing well and amazing. And the title of this video, as you can see on my thumbnail, and this is our part 2 of this eternal patriotic entitled The Cannibal Eastern Development Plan. And credit to the owner also with the video due to Ministry of Defense of Russia. I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video. And if you're new to my channel. Just click on subscribe button, click on notification bell so that you'll be updated on a future upload. If you have some comments and suggestions related to this video or any Russian videos or any World War history or history of Russia or history of the world that you can suggest, please drop it in the comment section below to read and respond to you all and make your video request. I would like to link in here part 1 of this amazing video that was like uh, Hitler's co friends. And that was very interesting and I really want to discover more about this since I heard that Ukraine and US was uh, pro of Nazism but that, that was very very bad and if you can look at this video and looking back into the history and you will we will understand because this series is 15 series so we are on the second one understanding of the history of this one i hope you'll be having fun and enjoy with this one guys without further ado let's get to it and i really want to hear also with you at the comment section what are your thoughts with regards to this one and please turn on the cc down there for your russian and english sub wow. thank you so much for this Enjoy and privet. I like the music. We will prevail. They're now patriotic. Есть один необычайно живучий и все время прорастающий кривыми побегами исторический миф о том, что Гитлер боролся не с теми или иными народами, а с большевизмом. Долгое время историки, псевдоисторики и просто манипуляторы всех мастей отлично работали на то, чтобы доказать Зловредность oh и левой идеи как таковой. А раз левая идея зло, то в борьбе с ней хороши все средства. Oh. Брошенная кем-то в разгар российской перестройки фраза «Если б Гитлер победил пили бы баварскую», это не просто выпиющая глупость человеческая, нет. Это по сути своей идеология. И она проста. Сдавайтесь, глупые русские, и будете пить свое баварское. Чтобы этой идеологии противостоять, надо знать несколько элементарных вещей. Long before Hitler came to power, he wrote in Mein Kampf that Russia represents living space, Lebensraum, for Germany. Just suppose that an astute German foreign policy had taken over the role of Japan in 1904. Oh. And we can scarcely measure the consequences this would have had for Germany. Right. There would never have been any world war. Agree. The bloodshed mm. in the year 1904 would have saved 10 times as much in the years 1914 to 1918. If land was desired in Europe, it could be obtained only at the expense of Russia. This meant that the New Reich must again set itself on the march along the path of the Teutonic Knights of old. Did you catch that? Only at the expense when of Hitler Russia. When Hitler are talking like 
very strong. That is elementary geography. That's all. Right. If the Germans had decided to make war on Russia and not the USSR, they would have put into operation their so-called General Plan Ost. That is a terrible document. By the outbreak of World War II, General Plan Ost foresaw mainly handing over new lands to large landowners. Hitler wrote, we stop the endless German movement to the south and west and mm -hmm. turn our gaze toward the land in the east. Big business only wants to grow bigger. That is its raison d'etre. And as they say, it's nothing personal. <laughs> right. In a decree of October 7th, 1939, Hitler authorized Heinrich Himmler, Reichsführer of the SS and head of the Gestapo, to oh. implement General Plan Ost, and he appointed Himmler to lead the Reich Commission for the strengthening of Germandom. Himmler then became head of general planning for the regions of Eastern Europe. General Plan Ost was not a single document, but a series of consecutive actions that were carried out step by step as the Germans moved east. In May 1940, the Reichskommissar's staff drew up a document on colonization of the east, namely in the territory of occupied Poland. As Reinhard Heydrich, chief of the Reich main security office, stated, the first step shall be to create a protectorate from the provinces of Danzig, West Prussia and Warthogau. Oh. As of last year, these provinces, as well as East Prussia and the Silesian portion, still had a population of 8 million Poles. These lands shall be gradually settled by Germans. The Polish element must be eradicated step by step. These lands shall in time become fully German. That was the date on the a part one. Was set up he over just four Polish provinces and German law was in force. Later, already in 1941, it incorporated also the province of Eastern Galicia with its capital in Lviv. The Nazis didn't care what anyone had to say about this, even the puppet Polish government. Most local people found their rights restricted the only universal right they enjoyed was to labor for the Third Reich. See? On May 28, 1942, Himmler received a memo entitled General Plan Ost, Legal, Economic, and Spatial Foundations of the East. It came from Konrad Meyer, a professor at Berlin University and a senior SS official. The memo was signed by some 30 men of letters. Contributing to General Plan Ost were agricultural scientists, economists, and other experts from the academic world. Esteemed oh. men, smart minds. Very esteemed. I think they really all all, have a the bad plan. The provinces, as Professor Meyer suggested, should have a population of 4.5 million Germans, which would require, and we quote, evicting in trainload after trainload over three million racially undesirable Poles. The children were to be sorted in terms of racial purity and those suitable for Germanization were to be sent to Germany. A total of 200,000 Polish children were taken away. They were brought up as Germans and Nazis in orphanages belonging to the Lebensborn project. How cruel is that? Font of life. This name is appalling, font of life. Holy it was just like crap. these cannibals to assign such a pathetic and poignant name to their institutions. Right. I feel really bad for the Polish people at that time. The long series of deportations of the Jewish and Polish populations from Western Poland, only 12,000 Jews survived out of a previous 435,000. See. The total number of deported Poles is today estimated at 365,000 people. 365,000 Poles were taken to who knows where, probably to be reduced to mere ashes. And so they did live to see bad old Stalin come to liberate them. 
The Poles, who to this day cannot forgive Stalin for freeing them in so bad a way, would, under other circumstances, not have been able to get so emotional about this. They simply wouldn't be here at all, but reduced, instead, to ashes. Oh my goodness. In June 1942, Himmler ordered Meyer to expand the plan beyond the Eastern and Slavic territories, so that it would encompass also the full Germanization of Estonia and Latvia in the shortest possible time. While Latvia was welcoming the visitors from Germany and showing off their national dress, the Nazis were methodically planning what they should use the Germanized locals for. General Plan Ost spoke directly about this. When managing the massive territories falling under the German Empire, our approach should be to save the German people's effort as much as possible. Thus, the measures odious to the e Russian population, oh for example, will be called out not by a German, but by a Latvian or Estonian under our administration. That is, those local people were assigned the role of executioners. As Hitler explained, regardless of what local individual units might think, the local population should not be educated or cared for. Holy. The same local population which remained Sorry. after the war. In Latvia during the war years, 46 prisons were built, 23 concentration camps, this and 18 is Jewish ghettos. In these, 313,798 peaceful civilians were exterminated, of which 39,835 were children, including Latvian children. Yes, this is the same Latvia, where former SS like to parade, where a March 16th event commemorates the fallen volunteers of the Latvian SS Legion, and this was even, take note, a state holiday for several years. Even today, these commemorations are indulged by the local authorities. Within Lithuania, the Memel Narif region was formed. The local crowd naturally had no idea of what the Nazis planned to do with them. Yes, and that I felt bad about. Concerning the Lithuanians, whose overall they really had this data dark are significantly plan. worse than those of the Estonians and Latvians, some thought should be given to providing them with territory in the east, suitable for colonization. By 1942, 17,000 Germans had already migrated to Lithuania in search of, and I quote, better living conditions. That is, 17,000 mainly Lithuanian citizens had to make way for a supposedly more civilized nation. But, and those 17,000, yeah. sadly, are no longer able to honor the memory of the Lithuanian Nazis who began on June 23, 1941, to attack Soviet soldiers and to commit oh murder my. and pogroms. Already in early 1941, Himmler told his 12 SS section heads that the goal of the Russian campaign was to liquidate 30 million Slavs. Do you understand the magnitude of this? Not three Slavs, not 30 but 30 Three, million. Third. They were talking about you and me. Reinhard Heydrich, chief of the Reich Main Security Office, said, the approach to these this lands is, is like building dams and draining coastline. Far to the east, a protective dike is being built, which will protect these lands from the Asiatic storms. And from the west, these lands are gradually being joined to the Reich. How would such a life look from a bird's eye view, say, from right. the height that a German eagle flies? Some remarks of Hitler's made on October 17, 1941, have come down to us. Where the big rivers are crossed, German cities must arise as centers of the Wehrmacht, police, administration, and party authorities. Along these roads will be German farmsteads, and soon the monotonous steppe, with its Asiatic appearance, will look very different indeed. In 10 years, 4 million Germans will have settled there, and in 20 years, at least 10 million. They will come not only from the Reich, but above all from America, and from Scandinavia, Holland, and Flanders too. And the rest of Europe shall play its part in this opening up of the Russian expanses as well. In 
In 1943, not far from Himmler's headquarters in Zhitomir, the German settlement of Hegewald was founded. 15,000 Ukrainians had been driven from their homes to make way for 10,000 Germans. Professor Meyer visited for his work not only Western Poland, but also Zhitomir in the Crimea, in order to determine how his plans could be carried out here. The Nazis had special designs for Crimea. They pointed to German historians who claimed so that the Goths had lived there in the Middle Ages and were moreover the elites of the region. So General Plan Ost's drafters decided to wipe this land clean of any other peoples. Crimea would be named Gotenland, Simferopol would become Gostburg, and Sevastopol would be renamed Theodorikshafen, that is, oh. the port of Theodoric, the Ostrogoth king who sacked Rome. That was the name. Some representatives and the of the place. Crimean Tatars who live in Kiev today and continually fuel a hysteria about the genocide of their people should nevertheless keep in mind that, mm. under other circumstances, this would not even be a matter for discussion. Correct. Hitler was quite specific on this point. The local people, we must carefully sort them. We will remove the destructive Jewish element entirely. Reinhard Heydrich, chief of the Reich Main Security Office, stated, the East and its regions are partially inhabited by Slavs. These are regions where, we must understand, kindness is seen as weakness. There are regions where the Slav himself does not want to be treated as an equal, oh or he is God. used to having Seriously? a master different from himself. You hear that, don't you? Lovers of torchlight processions? Oh. Ukraine, which was initially meant to be separated from the rest of Russia only as an interim measure, would be mm -hmm. used as a source of food under German control. Imagine how Hitler... Oh my... Seriously, guys. I feel really, really bad. We will say it again. Do you hear that, you fools who love to march in rank? You were to be a source of food, nothing more. It is these spaces, Hedrick said, that we must now control and preserve in the East. Spaces in which a German elite must, in accordance with military evolution, be engaged in a form of clear domination. The lands must serve as a deposit of raw materials and its population as laborers, helots, frankly speaking. Do you know who the helots were? In ancient Sparta, these were farmers whose position was somewhere between that of serfs and slaves. Oh. Don't be fooled by the majestic propaganda shops in this German newsreel. Five million people were forced to go to Germany for labor, including 2.5 million Poli from Ukraine. Polish and Ukrainian. served kindly masters. A significant portion of them died working for hazardous industries, where the Germans were reluctant to employ racially pure Aryans. Holy. As Hitler insisted, Every successor to the Führer should know. Security for the Reich exists only if there are no foreign military forces west of the Urals. Our iron principle is, and has to remain, we must never permit anybody but the Germans to carry arms. Why have you come up with these ridiculous names for yourselves? <laughs> Prave Sektor, Azov, and so forth. Better to refer to yourselves as a mere food source or as slaves for your master helots. Did you think that you would be accepted as Spartans? Ha! The German Fuhrer was quite clear on this. We won't assume the role of nursemaids. We have no such obligations. To improve their dwellings, to catch lice, German teachers, newspapers, no. 
Better we simply open a radio station under our control. And better if they can recognize no more than traffic signs so they cannot run into our cars. You're really, really planning. And so that the Ukrainians don't get in the Aryans' way, Western Ukraine especially was to be purged of 67% of its local population. He manipulated everybody. Himmler had a very specific plan. I have set a goal for the next two decades once the war ends. I can realize it with your help. To move the German border some 500 kilometers to the east. This means that we must resettle farming families there. During the retreat from southern Ukraine in the fall of 1943 alone, some 100,000 German settlers fled in convoys. They were forced to abandon everything they had. That is, 100,000 Germans had already evicted 100,000 Ukrainians, Russians, Greeks, and Jews, and had already begun to settle down. And this happened in the same places where recently a bust of Marshal Zhukov was barbarously torn down. Hitler and Himmler must be celebrating down in hell. It's On days like this, a Nazi soul must cry out with happiness. Our cause lives on. We shot these Untermenschen, slaughtered them, burned them, forced them from their homes. Oh my. And we slept under their feather quilts. And look at how eagerly they smashed that Soviet general's image now. They are capable of doing such things when they really want to. Hitler said it bluntly. For them, the word liberty means the right to wash on holidays. If we arrive bringing soft soap, we'll obtain no sympathy. There is only one task, to set about the Germanization of the land by bringing in Germans and to regard the indigenous inhabitants as an inferior race. He was seconded in this by Himmler. After the Germanic people's victory, territory for settlement in the East shall be mastered and joined to European culture. Take note of these words, joined to European culture. Mm -hmm. How often we hear those words today. <laughs> Everyone wants to keep joining us to European culture with the right to be used as whipping boys. But it was like... According to Hitler, this... Himmler and their experts, the Russians were the most worthless people from a racial perspective. Because he, their so-called science against... recognized Russians as the least Germanized people, and moreover, spoiled by the poison of Judeo-Bolshevism for 25 years. Under the Ost plan, a special priority was the destruction of the largest Soviet cities, first and foremost Leningrad and Stalingrad, as breeding grounds for Bolshevism. Hitler said, we shall not enter Russia's cities, they are to disappear entirely, and we shall not feel sorry for it afterwards. That is, they were prepared to battle not only people, but architecture, to fight the inhabited Russian territory as such. Those radical right-wing groups all those restless Loud fighters and against the already the explanation long gone Bolsheviks, which only occasionally appear in Russia, including in St. Petersburg today, ought to realize that their marches would otherwise have taken place in wastelands, where even the grass wouldn't know that it grows over the ruins of the Winter Palace and Hermitage. But how would those groups march without arms and legs anyway? They Correct. too would have become mere smoke and ashes. Or inside of that. The Nazis did not bother inventing any elaborate way of exterminating the Slavs. Rather, all Belarus, a large part of the Russian north and central regions, 41, undoubtedly, tens of millions of people will die of starvation if we extract from the country everything that is necessary for us. You don't even have to bother with anything. Just take all the food and they will die out themselves. Ограбление нашей страны. Захват нашего хлеба, нефти, восстановление власти помещиков, 
и капиталистов. And there is naturally the extermination of the Jews. Over 500,000 Jews were killed just by roving SS groups. Red Army commissars were shot. All resistance was eliminated, and anyone even suspected of resistance was killed. As Hitler explained, we shall employ and are entitled to employ all necessary measures, executions, and evictions. Today in Russia, and especially in some of our former republics, one periodically hears that if Hitler had defeated the Bolsheviks, he would have given everyone freedom. The Ukrainians, the Baltic people, the Don and Terek Cossacks, the peoples of the Caucasus. Naive fools they are, who do so much harm. For these peoples, a program was drafted to reduce their fertility, call their population, promote abortion, and deprive them of medical care and education. Hitler wrote, we shall act as if this territory is under our mandate, and we must be clear, we shall never leave it. Everyone visiting those veterans' marches in Riga and Kiev would have been reduced to the status of slaves. The only thing their masters might have entrusted them with was the murder of a commissar or a Jewish family, the women and children included. They entrusted them with all, all that the until their infernal plans were stopped and all these beasts were sent running, crawling back to Europe. Oh. No one could stop with Nazi during this time and I felt very, very bad. This it must be mentioned hilarious. that Professor Meyer, or rather Uberführer Meyer, died peacefully in 1973 at the age of 72 as a retired West German academic. How could that be, you might be asking yourselves. Yeah. Here's how. Yes, he was put on trial, along with other SS men, in the so-called Race and Settlement Main Office case. However, an American court sentenced them to negligible punishments, merely for being SS members. Somehow, all documents relating to the extermination of those foul Slavs were lost, and therefore nothing could be proven, or they did not want to prove anything. All right. Why? Because it's the Cold politics. War had already begun, and experts like Meyer could come in handy. Meyer was freed in 1948. He ran a seed farm, published several works on plant breeding, overpopulation, and problems of feeding the world. Oh. He was an unassuming man, intelligent looking and dapper. But his ideas have taken further shape, and we don't mean his thoughts on plant breeding. No, his other ideas. Of course, they have there mutated, is bad. and now don't seem so loathsome. Sometimes they look nearly attractive. European culture, progress, something of that sort. But for God's sake, be careful. Right. Remember what happened back then. There is always General been Host dark. Did not relate to some abstract Slavs, Balts, or Crimean Tatars. The Ost plan related to you, a human being. That's all. Full stop. Oh my god, this is the saddest, the darkest video that I even watched. Imagine the Holocaust, the genocide, those kids, those mother, those women. Those innocent people died together in a massive. This is very interesting, valuable video that we can truly see to those people who are pro-Nazism. And this video shows that please do not go with Nazism. This is what they did during this time. This video was truly diabolical. Nothing else can even come close. 
you cannot imagine being a Soviet or a Polish or even like less Jewish, you will be killed during this time. This is truly, truly sad. And I like my heart is like heavy watching with this one. And you can see in this video, it truly explains everything. This is truly educational interesting that we really have to understand and thank you so much for the production team who making with this amazing historical explanation and like everything is in here even this is just a part two of this video of this series but it already that you can give an idea of how bad and sad of what had happened on that world war and i really want to and I really want to hear also with you guys, what are your thoughts with regards to this video? Please drop it in the comment section. I would love to read and respond to you all. If you really want to connect with the owner of the video, I'll put in the description box below. If you like this video, guys, him as I did, just give a massive thumbs up. Like and share, subscribe also with my channel. This is Junris Blagadag React saying Istanbul is positive, guys. If you want to connect my social media account, is in here. If you want to connect my second channel, so in the description box below. Thank you so much. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. God bless po.